In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic keychain that you can make for yourself, your family, or friends. Uh, and it, it's very simple in Tinkercad. If I go to the right hand side, one of the first things you're going to want to put in your keychain is your name. Uh, so I'm going to drag this text box over here. And there's the letters right there T E X T. So I'm going to erase those T E X T over in the menu option here. And I'm going to type in my name. Now, this in and of itself, even though the words right here can uh, drag around together, which is really, really nice, uh, if I were to print this on a 3D printer right now, each letter would be its own individual uh, piece. And that's not necessarily what you want to do. Uh, so in order to make a keychain, you want to link them all together. In order to link them all together, I'm going to go back to my basic shapes, and I'm going to grab the basic box tool. I'm going to click on this box tool and drag it over, and I want to make it as long as my name. And uh, if I rotate my screen around, I'll make it as wide as my name. Now, obviously, that covered up the entire name. Um, next thing I want to do with my box is I want to click on this uh, the height tool over here, and I'm going to drag it down. Oh, there you go. There comes the name. And I'm going to make it about three millimeters tall. I think that's plenty thick enough for uh, most keychains. And you'll see now I can drag my the, the name around anywhere I want. Uh, one of the options with a name, just uh, just uh, since I'm here, if I click on the name over here, there's a font. You do have a couple of cho choices for fonts. Uh, it's not exactly like you're in Microsoft Word or anything like that. Uh, but you could pick a font that you might like. Maybe you see something a little bit better. All right. Once I have uh, my name in the box in here, I can get back on the. I can click on the box and I can maybe resize it a little bit. I might not want it necessarily uh, super large, but I do want to leave at least one space on the side here for uh, the keychain portion. Okay, because right now if I were to print this out, it would just be a solid block, and what would you put the keychain onto? And that's where the cylinder hole comes in. So I'm going to drag this cylinder over here. And you'll see that it's invisible. And if I drag it onto here, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to resize it to be a little bit smaller, maybe a six by six or so. And so I'm going to keep dragging until both numbers say six by six. And then I'm going to put it kind of in the center of here. The nice thing about Tinkercad is you don't have to be perfectly centered all the time because Tinkercad has a nice little useful tool that can help you with that. In order to center everything, I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to draw a box that selects pretty much all of my shapes. And then up here is a button here called Align. If I click on the line, it brings up these little dots. I can press this center button right here and each thing is now centered perfectly along this line right here. And I have to be careful, if I press this center button right here, look what happened to my hole. It pushed a hole in the center. So I'm going to press this undo button. I don't want to do that just yet. If I wanted to just simply uh, center my name with the uh, block right here, I don't want to just select everything. I'm just going to select just these two pieces. And the nice part about Tinkercad is I can click and drag a box and just, as long as the box is touching the two pieces, uh, it'll select both pieces. It doesn't necessarily have to be in totally encompassing everything. Now I can press the align tool, center my name onto the, the block, and there we go. And then if I select everything one more time and I press this group button, you'll notice that that little hole has been cut out over here, and my name is now uh, attached to this keychain. Uh, there's a couple other little things I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on this ungroup button just to show you some other stuff that you can do with it. Um, you might not want the letters to be this tall, and so I can click on the name itself, and I can shrink the, the, the letters down, um, and uh, that makes a nice little, uh, you know, a little bit more manageable of a keychain. Uh, or one other option to be pretty interesting is I can click on the name itself, and I can make the name itself a whole, and watch what happens. If I were to select everything here and group it, it cuts out my name. Uh, instead of having the name popping up, it cut, cuts down. But there's one little issue with this. Notice these letters over here, like the O, this G, and this E, 
This O piece right here would be a separate piece. If I were to peel this off the plate after it's done printing, that would be separate. Same with these little holes in the G and the E. So in order to fix that, I click on it. I'm going to ungroup it one more time. Notice the name is still a hole. I'm going to click on the name. But if I scroll down this way, um, there is this little I call the black Christmas tree. Right now it's uh, set to uh, be right on the build plate. But if I drag it up a little bit, so it's just a couple of notches into the hole. So I'm going to make it about one millimeter above the plate. Now if I select everything and group it all together, you'll see that the name has been cut out inside here but it doesn't poke through the bottom part so now i have a name inside little keychain there you go so you can make your own keychain with uh your name maybe your soccer number your hockey number uh your, your grandpa grandpa uh and so that's just a real easy thing to make uh that's personal and it came from you all right thanks for watching